Hello students, welcome to the session of Remote Sensing NGIS. So till now we have discussed how is the principles of GIS work, what are the major things that should be taken into the consideration when you work in this technology or in this software. Now we are going to see in detail the task functions and mechanism of GIS how it works. This is very simple to understand what are the tasks of GIS, how it is helpful, why it is helpful, what does it gives us when we use this task and how it helps us to do the interpretation. Because in the previous session also we have discussed the major question of the qualitative and quantitative analysis. If the subjective and objective are not properly analyzed then the software who is giving the outputs in the form of maps majorly is not useful. So let's discuss that in detail. The very first thing which you can see here is the functions of GIS or it is called as task of GIS. Now, before going into the detail, you can see here the image what I have shown you. See, the data is stored into it. I have used some output or some tools to get my desired output and it is showing me something. See, here the transit, transit system is shown. You can see the regional bus route regional bus stops, local circul circulator of buses, right? All the things are given with the color coding also. And you can see how it is being done. You can see the circles. From the whole things, I want some particular thing and that can be shown in such a way. That is what is how GIS works on, right? So to get this output, we should know the task of GIS, what are the tasks of GIS that can help you to us? What are the functions of GIS? So data capture again is important. Data storage is the major question right now. Data manipulation is the data analysis, query and analysis, and finally the visualization. Right? These are the tasks. Remember the difference between the principles and the task and the functions are such that you have to remember the hint ones that is very important because both one in the same way means same but both have a different meanings and analysis of these things right so first of all data capture what do you understand by data capture how you are gathering the information that is a data capture similarly data storage is the major question how can you get what is the data storage basically so storage can be in the cd hard copy right in the form of pen drives hard drives you can store the data it requires a huge space because gis data are very large in size if there are maps or if there is a data which you have prepared by digitization or manually with your hand it's very important to save that in a particular format and in particular V. So it can be a CD, hard copy, digital maps, etc. can be used in the form to store the data. Next you have the data manipulation. Again the question that data can be edited, allow for many times attributes to be added. So data manipulation is again the major question. Every time you do analysis you find some output out of it. So you need to add or edit some data what you have already prepared. So it should allow all that things to be done without damaging the data which is already standard and which is already required. Yes, you can do that by using these tools known as that you can use editing, stop editing, start editing. Without damaging your whole data, you can do all type of analysis which is related to data. Right. Next, you have query and analysis. What is query and analysis? Look into this figure, what I have shown, the photograph, what I have shown, the image, what I have shown. I run one tool that is of the query. I will tell that I want the route for this or I want the bus stop numbers this to this. It will show me on the map as I have shown here in the image. Right. Similarly, the last thing is visualization. Visualization, you will always have a digital maps and digital data which will help you. Now, I talk with this example only what I have shown here of the bus. 
right this is very easy to identify the colors to indicate what symbol is showing what right this can be done in the gis with the help of different different symbologies but the same thing i can also show you in the table format or in the excel format will it be such a attractive to give you information to find out that which root is which no it is never it is a tedious job it will show you a column rows and numbers of information how can you identify that so when you see now or you can recall any historical places or any where where you have the numbers of monuments or statues or fort they always provide you a map even when you go to the ride park they provide you a map and they show with the symbols of photographs or images that is more easier way to have the visualization and to help to have all the analysis up so this is a major task and functions of gis i guess you are clear with it the main thing comes of the components of gis components basically is software hardware people who know this data and procedures right so basically you require the geographic data that is spatial data information about the location what you are using spatial and non spatial data both software for storing and managing of data computers to facilitate the data storage processing and analysis and people to operate gis these are the components of gis right so everything is required before you start working in the software right there should be proper software there is open source softwares are also available and proprietary softwares are also available you can use any one all the interfaces are different so what do you understand by interface when i open qgis interface is different the open when you open the software it will look different when i open arcgis it will look different so when you open in the things pop out is known as interface right it is always different you use it a map box or map info right it will also have the different things and different interface but tools are same you can use that tools arcgis has numbers of tools qgis has same numbers of tools if you want to do the modeling if you want to do particular analysis of any area if you want to see the drainage network pipes if you want to see that where is the water supply if you want to see how much energy is produced in this area everything can be done with the help of it torrent power you all know that has numbers of poles working now we all know that poles also have a sensors into it in the evening it will on itself and in the morning when it light comes it will off itself there are sensors so the data of that poles light poles are also managed by this technology of gis that they have the location of each and every pole and they do it again the spatial data which is very important non spatial data are the attributes which you have then the procedures there are various procedures tools techniques softwares are used so it is required to know the various procedures also okay right? so various procedures means the tools there are two type of things we do the analysis on satellite image and we do the analysis on our gis data that is converted data of cad autocad or digitization what we have done we apply tools on it you can merge both the technology that is satellite image also and gis also right so basically procedures are very important supervised unsupervised these are the procedures which we have already discussed are important to understand you can integrate in this gis of and the very main thing is required that people who operate this software it is a major question to operate this software so this is a mechanic which is very much required in the components right so people hardware software data and procedure this each and every parameter is discussed in detail very well that you all know right storing of data is again a very major question to be known of it because as i said when you process the data it will always store the backend file in your c drive and it is a highest you know store the data of your process 
in the lab now so it is always advisable to make appropriate space to store the output because when you give any output or you when you want any output it will always ask you the output location file so it will not store in c drive and it will store in your located file where you want similarly when you use any tools right in your software of gis remember if the data has some error or a mistake or if the data extensions are not proper it will never store or give you the output it will not work on it right so data capture data storage data information to be stored in database management is a important question okay because when you show any analysis on the map basically it gives you hundreds of information and analysis so when you say this is correct means it should be correct i repeat again we use this technology for the future prediction and modeling by seeing the past thing and then we do the future prediction and remember student it should always be correct if you are doing the future prediction using this technology and if the future prediction is not correct then it is all wastage of the data preparation it is all wastage of the using of various tools in gis and wastage of using the software right so remember this components are very important to understand and similarly the various software handling expertise in software is important question again right people know a much theoretical background of this technology but they are not into the goods of good hands on so it is always advisable to have a proper knowledge and then start working on this software right so we have a proper database we have a proper data capture now i guess you are clear with this what is remote sensing and what is gis remote sensing always deals with the satellite image and gis is the tool on which you can apply with all your types of data which you have prepared in database management system right so i guess you are clear with the task capabilities principles uniqueness background of history of gis how you can convert autocad data to the gis how you make the data now we are going to see that which are the types of data which are the features are stored into it when i store data storing what type of things you are storing into it is a, again important question so i guess you are clear with all this terminologies and which will helpful to work in the gis environment irrespective of any software you use tools are same only the applications and interface are different right so i guess you are clear with all the things which is related to task and mechanism thank you